the first time I read an X-Men comic that really resonated, I toyed around with them in the 60s here and there, was Giant Size X-Men number one, out of the blue. There was no fan press back then, there was no internet, we had no idea what was coming our way until you bought it on the newsstand. I bought that comic, I took it home, and it blew me away. It made me an X-Men fan for life. The X-Men that I knew were, were the, the giant size X-Men. Those were the ones that I came in on, was you know a lot of Colossus and Wolverine, and the X-Men have been my fascination since I was, you know, learned to read. The first X-Men comic I read was during the Mutant Massacre. I forget what, what issue number that was. Um, you know, it was Claremont, John Romita Jr., and that made me an X-Men fan. The X-Men number one in 1991 with uh, Jim Lee and Chris Claremont, it caused me to go out and start, like, start creating my own sort of characters and stuff that I hoped one day to, uh, you know, insert into the X-Men line or into an X-Men book, which coincidentally I have uh, by this point with at least three characters I, I created when I was a teenager. I think the most important thing about X-Men is obviously the way that, that individual readers identify with characters, right? These weren't uh, the, the heroes that uh, were, were saving the day and uh, getting parades and uh, meeting the mayor. Uh, these were people that were trying to do the right thing and often uh, not getting the uh, accolades. They were with the heroes, but like the heroes didn't really trust them. But there's also these really heavy conversations about like how Captain America, you know, only stands up for like the human Americans, and not like the mutants. These are X-Men that are not on the run anymore. They're not survivors. They're not defenders. You can have the baby you always wanted to have. You can paint the painting you always wanted to paint. You can sing the song you always wanted to sing. Because never in your life before have you not been in fear. Shunned by humanity, finding strength and family with each other uh, is something you can relate to. The kid I was in seventh grade really identified uh, with uh, mutants who were on the outside. From all over the planet, there are those kind of people, right? As somebody who grew up in a small town, you know, I was the weirdest kid at my school, the one kid who read comics. Um, I got that. I like that idea that, oh, hey, there's other people out there like me, scattered all over the planet in that same sort of situation. We all feel like we're outcasts. And the X-Men are the ultimate outcast superheroes. You know, they're not just the X-Men, they're your X-Men, and that's kind of, that's a huge thing.